heavy. Bored. Right, yeah, yeah. So where does, like, the objective and the subjective, like, where did those meet and begin and shit? Oof, uh, it's an age-old question. I'm <laughs> constantly trying to figure that out because it's both. Yeah. It yeah. is both. Like, I, I could say that there's objective, clear and present standards of structure, of technique that we can point to and say, this is well done. This is what a good poem does. But... Then there's that, what we talked about earlier, right? That internal kind of reaction you have to a piece of art or a poem. And that counts for a lot too. So I, I just, there's this constant balancing. And I just, I guess I'm trying to just encourage people to be mindful of both. Because if, like I said at the beginning, if we go one way or the other with those, we start to lose what makes this thing so special, or at least feel special. And like, I keep saying the word sacred, but like, I do treat it as kind of, I'm not a religious person, but it's like, and I don't like to substitute something like an art form for religion, but there is something to that. Like there's a mysticism around it. These things yeah. that make us feel things. So I can read a poem from somebody who's been dead hundreds, thousands of years, and I can feel what they mm -hmm. were trying to get me to feel yeah that's special you know like that and you know you see this with all a lot of different Inner. resources american reading Night sweats and the day sweats, pal. Pal, I do.